Good morning, precious viewers. You are welcome to this morning's devotion. We will continue with uh, our topic on prayer. The Lord will answer your prayer is the theme for today's devotion. And the scripture reading is from John 15, 5 to 8. You see, one always expects a feedback when he communes with God. And God answers every prayer. That's what I want to emphasize. God answers every prayer. And that is what Christians or some Christians do not know. Whether it is against his will or it is not against his will or it is consistent with his will or it is consistent with his nature, God answers every prayer. Why am I saying that? There are three answers that we should know. Because when you pray for something and God says no, is this an answer? Sometimes God can say, wait, my brother, wait. This is not your time. And what you all expect is yes. <laughs> and you call it the yes factor. The yes factor had become a canker worm. And therefore, Christians believe that when God answers their prayer, no, it means that God is, has no listening ears. He listens to everyone. And I bet you, uh, uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9, says that the eyes of the Lord move to and fro, looking for the one whose heart is committed and show his strength. The Lord's eyes is on every individual. He created us. He knows that he's omniscient. He's omnipresent. So my brother, my sister, never, if you are a committed Christian and you know, you, you know that there's no hindrance and you pray, believe that you are answered. Won't you say amen? I didn't hear you say amen. For example, Abraham was waiting. God promised Abraham that he will create an inheritance through his own offspring. It tallied. It tallied. Abraham thought that God would never answer his prayer. So he took his own way. And you see the consequences. What is happening between the descendant of Ishmael and the descendant of Isaac? Because Abraham couldn't wait. He wanted to force God's hands. But God has a purpose and a vision for every individual. So wait for it. Jesus himself prayed and the Lord said, no. He said, Lord, thy will, isn't it? And the will of God is, no, you're going to die. Because that is the purpose for which I send you. By your death, men will be saved. Prayer, a communication between the Christian through Jesus Christ to our living God will be answered. And I can give an example of somebody who was buried in the belly of the whale and the whale buried in the belly of the sea. Prayed. And the Lord answered his prayer. His name is Jonah. It is only in Christian community that we can pray anywhere. Elsewhere, when we are even praying, with our apology and you float lit, the prayer is condemned. But in Christianity, even in your bathhouse, a table, in a market, everywhere you can pray and your prayer will be answered. Paul and Sarah's, let me use those words, were, were totally encapsulated, held in, in a prison cell. Oh my God. Are you held in? Are you in a prison cell because of a problem? You have an opportunity to come before the Lord if you are not condemned and tell him inside the chambers, chains on their hands, on their feet, darkness had encapsulated them and they started to pray. And all of a sudden, God heard them from above. And a light shone. That light is the presence of God. That light, which Paul met, 
And that changed his life. That light came. And all the doors were open. And all the chains fell off. Oh yes, may the Lord answer your prayer. Everything that you are going through, whether you are imprisoned by the devil, whether you are imprisoned by poverty, whether you are imprisoned by disease, as we pray now, as you pray now, and as I pray with you, may the chains of the devil disintegrate. Oh, you want yam yo? You want yam ya? Yeah, won't yam ya? Yeah, what's it? Miss Yamia, yeah, won't yam ya? Yeah, won't yam ya? Yeah, what? Oh, won't yam ya? Yeah, what's it? Yeah, won't yam ya? Yeah, won't yam ya? Yeah, won't yam ya? Yeah, what's it? My brother. When the Israelites were behind the Red Sea, going forward, they would be drowned. Going backward, they would die by the sword. On the mountains, the bow and arrow would chase them. On the right was a valley. And Moses knew that there was only one way of escape. So he prayed to the Lord. And the one way of escape was to look to heaven. Yes, I Kumo Narenda de Biarada Maka 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 Masa Machereno Obetsie Nobaya Mami Miss Orin Tonkumo De Biarana Wa Yes, I Tonkumo De Biarana Wada Maka Maka Talk to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Commune with the Lord. Don't stop praying. And the Lord gave him a way. Moses. And the sea parted. Prayer. Prayer answered. And when the sea parted, you know, that is the way they went. Yariko Yariko May your prayer give you victory over Satan. May your prayer give you victory over diseases. May your prayer give you victory over demons. May your prayer give you victory over poverty. May your prayer disentangle you from the shackles of the devil and set you free in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.